When I'm a Detroit player, stacking my paper, stacking so high, need a fucking elevator. I'm a deep boy, I'm a, I'm a. What's going on, people? It's your boy Dre. This is a casual beast for the average gamer. Got some uh, Rising Storm. This is a PC World War II shooter. Um, just came out of beta and uh, went full market uh, a couple days ago. Picked it up for $16 on Green Man Gaming. Um, I like the game overall so far. I think it needs a little bit more polish. Um, the this is this match here is a. They have different objective modes in the games, but this is a team death match. Uh, um, play session on a map called apartments which you can obviously see is just a ton of apartments um, looks like in Russia or whatever um, this is obviously well not obviously but this is Germans versus Russians I'm on the Russian side uh, for this match and right here I don't know what the fuck happened um, the aiming in this game is a little sluggish and like I knew he was there I think even before he knew I was there and I aimed on him and for some reason my guy was shooting up and to the right I don't know um, this was like my second match of uh, right after I bought the game any effect I like the game overall is and it's also really cheap I mean it's not an expensive $60 game but it you know it's that kind of quality um, the only gripes I got about the game so far, and they are still working on the game. I mean, they're they're still patching it and you know trying to get it uh, right. The developers are. Um, the biggest thing I found so far is the controls are really sluggish for me. Now, other people are saying it's not that way for them. I don't get why it's that way for me, but the controls feel really sluggish. Like your guy does not move like very good. And I know that, you know, this game is authentic and, you know, you're not going to, you know, twitch shooter. I'm not talking about that. I'm saying, like, you know, you, you come into a doorway and then you move to go left and it's, like, delayed, at least for me. It's like he delays a second and I usually get headshotted by a one-shot weapon somehow, even though I should be back out of that doorway. Um, but the controls for me need a little bit of work. They're just really delayed and not, not really all that polished. You get better at the game, you know, the more you play because you get used to it, but that's something they need to work on. And then also, and this may be to do because it's not a lot of, not a ton of people have the game yet, you know, so there's not a ton of low, low uh, latency servers to play on. But, uh, you know, I still, I get in rooms with like a 60 ping, but it feels like a 200 ping. You know what I mean? Sometimes I shoot guys with SMGs in the same room as me. And then on my screen, I mean, I'm dead on them. And, you know, somehow it's not hitting them. Like, you know, sometimes it does. Sometimes it does. I've had games where I go on sprees with a weapon. Then I had other rounds with around the same ping that I shoot guys, like, from the same distance. And I don't even hit them. And somehow they just turn and one-shot me with an assault rifle, like a bolt action or something from up close. And it's like, boom, instant headshot. So I don't know if there's a lot of hackers right now or what. I'm not accusing it of being, you know, hacked, but you know it is PC gaming and um, you know, it is a cheap game and hackers do tend to try to, you know, jump in everything new. I don't know. I just seen an an ordinary amount of one shot headshots and it just seemed like what's showing on the screen doesn't always match up with what they're saying happened. But you know, we'll see. I mean, I'm not good at the game. I'm not expecting to be great at the game. You know, I just started playing it. But, you know, being a gamer for a long time and as experienced as I am, I can tell when I'm getting bullshitted. You know, and there's some time when stuff is just like, okay, that was some bullshit. But overall, I mean, the game is very cool. It's very well done, World War II shooter. It really is. It's, it's As far as, like, the aesthetics of the game, as far as, you know, um how it looks and stuff it just needs a little bit of like um you know gun work like the aiming and the controls i don't know if they're going to tweak that or not but to me it needs to be it needs to be a little bit more responsive it's just a little bit too slow and maybe that's just not my style you know what i mean because i mean in this game i mean even in this which is team deathmatch which of course is an apartment so it's going to be camping central which i don't really like um, but even in territory, which is like kind of like conquest, or you know, in bigger games where you need you need to capture areas, it's just 
it's a lot of really really slow play sometime and camping you know and it's it's you know it's a game that's not meant to be a fast-paced twitch shooter like cod i understand that but it just seemed like people take camping and sitting around and just waiting you know a little bit too serious like you know even for an authentic game i don't want to play nothing that quite that slow so if you're looking for something a little bit more fast paced, this probably isn't going to be your tune. Um, but, you know, I'm trying to adapt and learn to play it, but I play too aggressive. And so I don't do as well in this game as I probably could because I'm, I'm a very aggressive gamer. Um, you know, even if I'm being careful and moving cover to cover, I like to move. You know what I mean? I like to push the enemy. I don't like to sit, you know, in, in certain places too long. And uh, right here, I was trying to pick up <laughs> the other weapon. That's why I'm still circling. Because it, it kind of gives you the option of picking something up. And if you move like an inch, it goes away. And then, I don't know. It's, you know, it's just little little things, little tweaks to the game that I think they still need to work on. But overall, don't get me wrong. I mean, this game is only 19 bucks on Steam. You know, I mean, that's that's a very cheap price for what you're getting. There is a campaign. And there is, um, you know, a multiplayer, which there aren't a ton of people playing yet. But I think it'll pick up in popularity, like more people like me and other people stream it. And the more the word, you know, word of mouth and it, it gets out. Because, I mean, there's only like three or four big servers that are really running. And don't, don't, I should, I should clarify that. There are a ton of servers online, but most of them are empty. You know, they're there to play. It's just not enough people online. And it seems to be a lot of, like, UK players and stuff, which is cool. But, I mean, in the games right now, I mean, you know, guys I'm shooting against have 200 pings. And it's like, no wonder the bullets aren't registering. So I'm hoping once, um, you know, the population picks up, you know what I mean, and we get more people from, you know, playing on servers that are kind of closer to them, that the hit detection and, and some of the issues like that kind of... Um, you know calm down now the one thing I will say is I'm playing action mode because you have to play so long before you can get to realism mode and what realism mode is is kind of a kind of like hardcore you have I guess less health um, you know it's more like a bullets do a lot more damage um, and action mode is kind of like you know a, a Call of Duty type now I'm not comparing to Call of Duty what I'm saying is the damage you have to shoot somebody three four five times before they die if you're using like an SMG or something now for some reason like the M1 Garand you know the most in the got guns like that that are kind of boat action or not boat action clip fed but um, are very strong you know 7.62 or whatnot those guns still can one shot your ass because you know if you you know you aim for center mass and it'll one shot and kill you or a headshot um, and sometimes I get owned by guns like that, even though I'm shooting a guy with an SMG, like a, like a Papa Shaw, a PPSH-41, a Russian SMG, and a guy will still get one shot off, even though I'm hitting him, and I'll die, and he won't, um, and, you know, things like that, but, I mean, overall, it's a good game, man, I'm still playing it, I'll be bringing more videos of it, if you do like World War II shooters, this one is very well done, um, uh, it, it really is, you know, um, like I said, there's the Japanese side, there's Americans, there's um, the German side, uh, you know, with the MP40 and, and different things the Germans had. And um, and I haven't even been through all of the game modes. And like I say, I haven't even unlocked real the realism mode or whatever, which, you know, seems to be the, kind of the most popular. That's probably why I don't see as many people, because a lot of the videos I saw on YouTube, guys were playing that realism mode, but I'm not high enough level yet to unlock it. You have to play so long. And get a high enough level, like level 15 or so, I don't know something. Um, I'm close to it, but I haven't unlocked it yet, so I'm I'm definitely gonna switch to that because I am getting a little bit frustrated in some of these game modes, man. I'm shooting guys with 200 pings from three or four feet away, and they're not dying. Any effect, we lost this round, but I did okay myself. But uh, I'll be bringing you more uh, more videos of this. It is overall a good game.